Hello friends, I welcome you to this class. We're talking on chi-square test of homogeneity. So basically how we're discussing uh, the use of chi-square tests of homogeneity, the assumptions, the data analysis procedure, and uh, interpretation. Now, uh, the chi-square test of homogeneity is used to determine group differences. It is used to determine differences in group proportions. And there are some assumptions in to fulfill. It's a research out of data analysis. We want to make use of chi-square test of homogeneity. And your dependent variable it will be dichotomous. So I mean at two levels. And your independent variable should be polytomous. And that is the variable I measured in three or more levels. And there should be independence of observations. Now, what it simply means that you are having participants in each group. So no participant is belongs to more than a group. So that was that's what it means. And also know that the participants are randomly assigned to groups and they also have to take a note of the the sampling size which i'm going to show you through the course of the teaching now let's make use of this data now this is the data this is the independent variable that the teaching method we have there are three teaching methods who have lecturing method discussion method and demonstration method and there's a performance of the student well, there is a level of performance that we have high performance and low performance and this is the frequency now this account you have to take note of that uh, look at the first one 33 now this shows the performance of the student taught the lecture method so number of people here though, we have total count of 33 and they have high performance and they are taught with lecture method and we also have for well, the next one is 69 they have low performance also taught with lecture methods so well, the next one is 57 high performance of those that are taught with discussion method now we want to apply chi-square test of homogeneity we are looking at these groups I want to look at if there are differences in the, the group proportions. Now, you have to take note of some things. Very important. Now, this is the frequency. There's a frequency that when you are the analyst and you are sending this, the frequency that you are sending and you have to work on it. Now, you, the first thing you have to do, you have to weigh the data. Very important. This data has to be weighed. Because the SPSS by default assume that assumes the numbers individuals call. So to overcome this assumption, you need to weigh the data. Now, how do you do that? Click on data, weigh cases for the frequency. There's a frequency. Your weigh cases, the frequency. Click on OK. So that's the first thing. Okay. Analyze. Click on descriptive statistics. Click on cross tabs. Now, for the rows, we have the rows and we have the columns. Now, that's the performance. Let's put that in the rows. And now, yes, teaching method. Now, Okay, let me show you something. Click on statistics. Okay, chi square. Continue. Now, before you move on, click on the cell. Click on hops. Uh, click on uh, expected. Can I want to show you something before you move? Continue. Okay. Now you have to take note of something because now what well, chi square. I made mention of some assumptions you have to fulfill. Now, one of these is the, is the sampling adequacy, very important. Now, you can check 
and one of the yeah there is one of the major something of the crazy is that talking about this number of cells now take note of this the SPSS will tell you zero cells zero point zero half expected count less than five so that's the assumption so I have to less than five so the minimum what is the minimum one so all this high is greater than five so you have so 50.3 50.3 50.3 one point so you can see that looking at this table you can see that this assumption has been met so you can go ahead and interpret you may want to check some other things you can go back to analyze cross tab now let's check the same maybe column to give you more you can decide depending on what you're doing continue okay yes you can go back to this okay yes we'll click on this you know, observe instead of that we just use the expected to yes cannot click on if you need it call bash that in closer you can decide to click on it yes you decide to click on it if you need that and you can click okay okay scroll up scroll down so you can see the yes so this is the percentage of the column so you can and this is the the value of the chi by piercing chi square so the degree of freedom so this is the significant value you check you can see that it's less than 0 0.05 level of significance so you can check the bar chart you can see that the lecturing can see the color lecture method discussion method demonstration method against the performance uh, you can see that if you scroll up you can see that for the lecture method you can see the territory of uh, uh, yes of the do student are taught lecture method at territory that are high performance so for the teaching method too you can see that those students taught with discussion method 57 that have high performance and for the demonstration method so then taught with the have high performance demonstration method and this is the frequency yes you have to take note of that and those people have low performance you can check is 69 for lecture method um, 45 for teaching method and 41 for demonstration method so you can see also that's what you have in the bar chart Present chi square 17.99. You can see that significant value is less than 0 0.05. So you can see that there is this result is significant. Then, so the next thing is to carry out the postdoc text. So in the next video, I'm, I'm going to show you how you can carry out postdoc text in. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you can hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so that you can get a lot for our subsequent uploads. Thank you for watching.